you, you're an excited parent. You prep the car seat, you prep the, nur the nursery, you prep everything, and you're like, this is going to be so awesome, and you have all the toys and just everything, and the car seat sitting in your car, and then everything happens, and the car seat's still there, and there's no baby in it, and where do you go from there? had multiple seizures from blood sugar being low and had to call ambulance multiple times and being uh, med flighted um, for having low blood sugars. My first son Samir is six and a half and he had uh, transient hyperglycemia at birth and my second child unfortunately passed away um, due to HI. <laughs> Sorry. The research into hyperinsulinism really needs to be expanded. We have only a drug that's been available since the mid-1970s, and there hasn't really been anything new in the past 30 years. If you go to the medical school, I, I think um, normally you will never heard about congenital hyperinsulinism. The condition is very rare. You know, the knowledge that your child has a disease that 20 to 40 percent of children could end up brain damaged is very stressful. Some parts you know, of the country and even in the world where I get referrals from other countries, I still feel that you know, the management is not optimal. You know, there are children who are still being missed. To try to understand more about the current status of congenital hyperinsulinism, the family organization CHI is developing a global registry to try to capture all patients with hyperinsulinism around the world. Connecting uh, parents is a very, very good thing because these parents have another language. In our support group right now, we have families that ask questions. How many people are on this particular treatment? How many people have experienced this situation? It's great to be able to do that in our support group, but we can't collect that information when people answer them. And so now we'll be able to have a way where someone that chooses to participate, when they answer a question, the system will allow them to say, how did other people answer this question? And they'll go, oh, I'm just like, 60% of other people, or wow, 90% of people have the same thing I'm going through. So it just, it's a very interactive program, and we thought that that was also critical because we don't just want to take their information, we want them to be more informed about their place in the HI world. If you pool the data, you will start to see patterns. This creates a tidal wave of momentum to move the field along. Everybody should participate in the Asia Global Registry. This is going to be a key tool for families to connect with other families, for investigators, and for industry to identify subjects for research studies that would allow us to develop new therapies. Knowing that you might not even make a mistake, you might be doing your best, and sometimes your best isn't good enough because the disease is so potent and so powerful. Anyone who participates in it is going to make the registry itself stronger and help us find those better treatments.